Hi, I'm Dr. Watson, a team leader here at the Georgetown SMP. I wanted to speak to you a little bit today about the different paths to medicine, that being the allopathic MD route and the osteopathic DO route. Um, there's historically been quite a bit of difference between those two programs, but more and more every year, the differences are becoming minimal. Uh, the path into these medical schools looks exactly the same. You're going to fill out your online application to either AMCAS or ACOMAS, and each of these uh, want to see your MCAT, your GPA, your activities, your shadowing, your volunteering, your research. And just to give you a little uh, reference as far as what the numbers look like, uh, last year to AMCAS, about 55,000 applications uh, were submitted with an average GPA of about 3.62, a science GPA of about 3.5, and an MCAT about 507. Uh, those that ended up gaining admittance to and matriculating into medical school, there were a uh, little over 22,500 matriculants, a 3.75 GPA, <clears throat> 3.68 science GPA, and a 512 MCAT. Contrast that with the DO route, about 27,000 applications, 3.5 GPA, 3.4 science GPA, and a 503 MCAT with about 8,500 matriculants, uh, 3.56 GPA, 3.47 science, and a 505 MCAT. So you see <clears throat> that there are uh, less DO seats, but that the um, admissions rates are pretty similar. Now, what happens after you get into medical school at an MD and a, or a DO school? And the answer is the progress is fairly similar. You take the same courses in anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, all the other medical school courses that we expect. Um, and then after your second year, you will take either the USMLE Step 1 for medical or MD or the Comlex Level 1 for DO. You will then enter into your uh, ward training where you will begin seeing patients and, and acting as a student doctor where you will then take either the level two <coughs> CE for DO or the step two CK for MD. And then finally, after graduating, you'll take the level three and step three uh, exams. <coughs> after you graduate from medical school, the two degrees come back together where we have a single graduate medical education uh, process. Uh, the match is the same. Both MDs and DOs will enter into the same match and uh, have a very similar match rate as well. About 94% of MD seniors matched last year compared to about 91% of DO seniors last year. So very similar match rates. Um, the top five positions in each one for MD was internal medicine, pediatrics, emergency medicine, family medicine, and anesthesia. On the DO side, it was internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics, and psych. So again, very similar uh, progress after graduation into your eventual residencies as well. So I hope this clears up a little bit of the differences between the two as far as applications go. Um, as far as practicing physicians, again, not much of a big, not much of a huge difference in these programs. Um, a little bit more of a focus on primary care with the DOs and a much more focus on the manipulative therapy as well, which can be great for musculoskeletal pain. Uh, overall, either way is an excellent path to medical school.